Hey everybody, it is another Goodwill haul. And I wanna say that a lot of these items are ceramic and I have been saving them for the last two or three months so I didn't just go and pick up all these at one time. I sometimes just put them aside until I have enough to make a really good video for you guys. So this is the first one. All of these items came from Goodwill and this one was half price, so I paid $6.50 for it, but I thought it is just a gorgeous, and I do mean gorgeous type of texture there. It's got like a brown, it's got the rim too. You can almost see the rim even goes into the side. And it's like a lime green color, but more of an olive dark. And I think this is pretty in fall, I really do. And you can put flowers in it. I'll show you, I've got some flowers here. And it will really change the whole, the whole, look at this. Is this not gorgeous? It will just change the whole thing. And I will show you some photographs at the end where I will show you some of the flowers that I put in it. All right, so that's the gorgeous one that I love. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Next one, I got this one for $3.50, and I'm, I want to um, do a DIY on it. That's why I got it. It's not a bad-looking vase. It really isn't. Um, it's like a gray, and it's got some yellow in it. But I thought how pretty it would be to DIY it with, like, some of the other things I did this summer with the plaster. So I'm going to try to do that. But I'm going to do it in a darker color. So stay tuned for that one. I think this one's really pretty also. And then I got this one. This one's really cool. This was $3. Love the little swigglies on it. As you can see, it's really a pretty blue. I love the kind of blue it is. I also got this one at the same time. It's like somebody must have had blue in their decor. And I got this one also, which you can see. It's got some different shapes to it. It's got some grays in it. It's got beautiful blues in it. And this was $6. But I think, oh my God, this is so pretty, is it not? And like I said, I'll try to do some flowers in it so you can see how pretty it looks in the end. I'm gonna stick this here and here. Then this right here is just a little face. It was made in Italy, so it's an Italian type picture. And I believe this was half price also. This was $2.50, but I thought, I love the yellow. It's like almost like a mustard yellow. But isn't this pretty? It's got a little bit of the brown detail in it. So that one's really cool. I love Goodwill because when you can go there and get half price items, it's definitely worth it. And you can do different things with it. Now, this also was half price. This was $4. This is Ray Dunn. We all know how Ray Dunn has that one script that she does. So here we have nuts, spread, olive. So it's a nice little, I guess, decor for your kitchen table or your dining room or if you're having guests over. And I mean, you don't have to put olives in it. You can put something else in it. But I thought for the price, it's got no chips. Gorgeous. And look at this one. This one is so cute. It was... Probably either seven or three fifty. It's got a parrot on it. Is this ever cute? Look at this one. It's a gorgeous vase. Absolutely gorgeous. It's got the texture on it. It's got just such, you know, look at all the designs. Very pretty. I don't know who it's by because it doesn't tell me who it's by. Let me see. I'll take this sticker off. Maybe it'll tell me. Oh, it is. Mateo's Mexico. So it's Mexican pottery and it's signed. So that's always impressive when you can get a signed piece. That is very impressive. Love it. He did a great job of the parrot too. How cool is that? All right, the next one is a Michael Graves. I'm sure you've heard of him. He does a lot of pottery and other things, but look at this. I paid $3 for this. All right, it was half price. I know people thought, that's really an odd shape. What am I going to do with it? You know, things like that. But honestly, you can even flip it over 
put a candle or something else or flowers on the bottom if you wanted to. But I just thought it was such a cool, different type of vase. And like I said, you can put flowers in it. You're not going to be able to see it real good because of where my camera sits, but you can see it right there, how pretty this would be with flowers in it. So this is always a good buy. And like I said, it's Michael Graves. If you look it up on Etsy, see Michael Graves right there. They show it for $32 for... $40. There's a site that's sold out of these for $55. So for three bucks, I think it's a steal. What do you think? It's a steal. Okay, the next one is just an odd piece, and I thought somebody made this. I paid three dollars at Goodwill, but I think it's really cool because they did sign it. They may not have liked it, but I love it. It looks like it's Valicia, that's her name, Valicia. But look how pretty this is. It was a bottle and she painted it. I don't know why she didn't keep it, but it's very pretty. See it? I think it would just look nice sitting somewhere on a shelf, mixing with some of your other decor. Next, I have these beautiful candle holders. And they also are signed. They were three dollars a piece. I got two of them, which I think is such a good deal. But as you can see, it is signed. But isn't that pretty? They did great on the colors. It's like got some browns and some, I guess, lighter grays. But I think they're really, really pretty. Very pretty. Can't wait to use them. They are very pretty. Okay, I picked all four of these up at four different times. I've been trying to collect them for my family. They're like the little ramen noodle bowls, and I'll pick up my chopsticks later. But look how cute these are. This has got little daisies on it. I've got two more to get, maybe even three. A lot of times you see one, so I decided to try to find a whole set of just different ones. This one has butterflies. How cute is this one? They're all different prices because I got them at different times. This one I love. It looks like almost like a Italian floor pattern. So I think these are all very pretty. Then I got this vase, which you see a lot of these. These are not um, these are not old or antique, but I think they're good to have to either redo or even keep it the way it is. It's got the ivory and the gray. But it was four dollars so for me i can either do a doy on it or keep it like it is so either way it's still a good deal okay this next one is eat drink and be scary it was ten dollars it's really heavy duty but it was great if you're going to do a halloween party and i thought for us it's perfect it's got the little place for your salsa or your dip and your chips over here but i think it's really cute eat drink and be scary cool okay the next one these are um these are ones that people made they're signed they were goodwill but all of these were signed like i said some of these signs pieces i don't know why people get rid of them it's pretty cool that you made something but maybe they didn't like the way it turned out but I think it's a bit very unique. It's got texture to it. It's got great colors. It's got the dark blue. You can see the person's initials. It's all green on the inside. How pretty is that? And then, it must have been the, I don't know if it's the same person. But let's see. Let me get the sticker off of it. So, well, I don't know. Let me see. What? It's a different person. Let's see. Nope, it's the same person. They did this one too. Look how pretty this is. Why would you get rid of that? The textures on it, the colors. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, 
sine by MR3, I think. How cool is that? My next one is not anything old or antique, but I love it's heavy duty. I paid six bucks for it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the heavier vase because also, for some reason, if the cat decides to jump up on a table, I might even break this, but I hope not. It's got like the indentation here, so it is a little bit different, but the colors are great, especially for fall. Let me let you see it again. There it is. Great colors. See how it sort of's got an indentation on both sides. And it was six bucks. My last one of the decor, which you're not going to be able to see really well, it's this metal piece. I have to show a picture at the end, but it's pretty cool. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't worth a lot. It was three dollars, but look how unique this is. Metal. And it's got, it looks like it could be bamboo, but it's not. It's got the texture of the bamboo. But you can see it's pretty tall. And I'll take some pictures later of the flowers in it so you can see how cool it looks. We'll put the pictures at the end of this video so you'll be able to see how you can put flowers in it and make it look pretty cool. Okay, got these really cute boots. They're guest boots and brand new. I can't believe, you know, it's really weird because Goodwill, the one I go to, gets a lot of brand new boot, boots, and I think they get them from different stores, but this is a beautiful boot, as you can see. It's my size, but I am going to put it on my eBay because I have a ton of boots, but it's brand new, guys. Isn't it beautiful? It has one little scuff mark. That's it right there. As you can see, one scuff mark, and that is it. So they're really nice boots. I think I paid $10 for them. Not bad. Now, this one, these are brand new. Okay, these came from Goodwill. They have a tag in it, and the tag is from, I'll show you, is from Ross, brand new. I paid, let's see, I paid $7 for them. They were at Ross for $27, regular $45. But look, brand new, never worn, Goodwill. Can't beat that, guys. You really can't. The next one's going to blow your mind. It blew my mind because I just looked it up. This is, let's see, what did I say these were? Tiva. All right. These are on eBay. These are brand new. Paid $7.50. Look at this. Brand new Tiva boots. $100 on eBay. Unbelievable. $7.50. Brand new. $100 bucks for these. They're very nice. They're very soft. It's got the little rope design on the back. Zipper. It's like a little short booty. Beautiful shoe. $7.50, and I think I'm going to sell them on eBay. So definitely check my eBay site. I haven't put it up yet, but I'm working on it. Okay, last couple of items is these again are somebody who made these, and I thought they were really cool. Let me see if I get a pair of scissors. Hold on. Scissors. Scissors, but I thought these were so cool. And I love pottery, and you know, some pottery you get fifty or sixty dollars for. This is like a cute little. It was made by Robin back in probably twenty twenty. It's got a tiny little chip over there, but you can paint that. But. How cool is that? It's got some pretty, it's two different ones really, because this has got the like different, she's got like dragonflies on there, it looks like. I think that's pretty cool. And it was $3. And then this little bowl, which could be a bowl for your cat or your dog, because it's pretty heavy. So that's not a bad deal. 
then this right here is like a, I think it's like a sugar bowl. Is that not, oh my God, that's gorgeous. I love the abstract design of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It was, I did a half price thing. It was $3.50. Let me see if I can put this. They have put this on there so you can't even get into it. I don't know why. Alright, finally. It is like a little sugar bowl and it goes with it. I'm not going to unwrap it because I'm scared I'm going to break it, guys. But it definitely goes with it. It's cream and sugar. And it's handmade. So how cool is that for $3.50? It's, it's, I mean, it, seriously, it's made out of clay. It's really nice. It's, I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, I also got this bowl. It's $3.50. I thought it was just so unique if you look at it. It has got... Oh, you can't. Anyway, it's got the spoons to go with it, and it's got the little salad forks to go with it. It's all wood. Wood is always nice if you can get it for $3.50. And it's got this really cool design. I love this. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the wood. You can see it's in great condition. Okay, next up is my little baggies, which I think are always such a good deal. At least in my store, it's a good deal. So, let's see what I got. Okay, I have two more bags, so let's look in this one. This one looks like it's really, really full. And let's see, I think this was $3.50. It's got index cards, which are really cool. Got a set of orange. If you want to color code it, pink. Oh, it's got push pins. I'm telling you, these are such a good deal. A whole bunch of brand new pencils. You can always use pencils. Let's see. This is a oh, green color coded. Definitely, definitely have a lot of those. You can see the green and the pink. All right. And then there is a really nice graphic. This is going to work. I have to check it. Let's see. Does it look like that? It is a calculator. Not sure what kind. Let me see if I can open it. Uh -huh. All right, I can't open it. I'll have to get one of my kids to. I'm sure, it just slides out. It does have batteries in it, so it's battery operated, but I would have to replace the batteries. So but here is that. What, I don't, what is a graphic calculator, Angelina? I've never heard of that before. Graphic. Not sure what that is for, but we'll look into that later. Okay. We have more little notepads. These are like little card, name cards in print, maybe. More index cards. Those are blue. So we've got green, pink, orange, blue. We have a little tiny like, organizer if you have coupons. This one, yep. We have one for coupons. And look at this. It's already got the little tags on it. Look got the tags on it. Somebody put a lot of work into this. Wow, nice. Keep that one for me. That would be coupons for them. Okay, then there's a little notebook. Oh, it's cute. It's a little tiny notebook. I remember these. I had one of these when I was little. It's a little tiny notebook. Look at that. That's really cute. It'd be a nice little log to put in there. Car. And then we have this really nice little tablet. It says, do it now, do it later, do it never. That's really cool. So that's a little notepad. And this is somebody's 75th anniversary. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. It was Colonial Life's 75th anniversary. And it's got a little post-it notes and look, little post-it tags. Post-it tags to organize your reading books or your subjects or your recipes. This is pretty cool. Nice. Brand new. We didn't even use it. We'll take it. All right, and this, I think my son would like this. This is like little plastic covers for his cards. He does Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and now he does Magic Gathering. So that's not a bad deal. Wow. So that was definitely a good buy. This, I think, is a little bit popular, though. It's a little thing that lays in it. Okay, my last bag, and then we're going to have to say good night or goodbye or good evening or good morning, depending on what time you watch this. But... If you would subscribe, and I want to thank you in advance for subscribing because that would be great. And then you can hit the like button and the notification bell so you can know when we're back on. I mean, it's probably going to be a while before I do a Goodwill one again. This is my last one for a while, I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to go to Goodwill in a couple weeks. I know that um, sometimes, you know, in the fall it gets a little you know, crowded. I think summertime is the best time to go. But here's my last bag. Let's see what's in this one. These are always my favorite. Probably my daughter, too. She always ends up getting stuff out of it. Like notebooks. Here's some notebooks. Little notebooks. Here is another one. Sort of fly. This is just, oh, this is little notes. Make little notes. That's not bad. Okay, then we have another little notebook. These are so cute, aren't they? Brand new. Like I said, I think I paid how much? I always need a half price, so $2.50. Not bad. And, you know, I mean, look at these. These are brand new. Brand new. Whoops. Brand new. Okay, and then, look at this one. This is I can get it out. this oh my gosh I can't get it out do I struggle yeah let me get all the other stuff out maybe flip it over okay more notebooks somebody definitely liked their notebooks there's another one this one's world cards I like the little index cards okay lots of little notebooks this one says everything is possible this is cute it's like a little notepad. These would be cute to put in baskets if you did Christmas baskets, maybe take them to a nursing home or even for teachers. These would be great to put in a basket. This is called Field Notes. So if you're out in the field and you need to write stuff down, it's even got a little ruler there. It's got measurements for you. Cool. Yeah, put your name and address. Cool. Right, there's another one just like that. So I think it's more like for a surveyor or something. Here's another one of these really cool ones. With the new day comes new strength and new thoughts. Eleanor Roosevelt. So that's cool too. What, what are these? These are nice just to even keep in the car. You don't have to write a note. You know, keep by the you know, phone. Or, ah, look how big this one is. This one's nice. Nice. Notebook. Nice, nice, nice. Look at this one. Brand new. I don't know why people get rid of these things. Okay, next one is a bullet journal note. Oh, that's nice. Somebody wrote in it. What did they say? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, then let's see an activity pad, which is just regular like scribble paper. Actually, this was the clipping that went over it. So it was probably it's a three-in-one tablet. Construction paper, tracing paper, and scribble paper. That's nice. So I'm gonna see what this tracing paper looks like. Oh, it's kind of cool. See what's under that? Yeah. Very nice. Okay, good.
Good job. Then, last one is, look at this. Oil paints, a whole big, let's see, 12 of them. There you go. Maybe one of my kids will be a painter one day. Anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you will, like I said, subscribe and thank you in advance for that. And like and hit the notification bell. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And we will see you in the next video. Take care. Love you. Bye.